Life is so good I even got a sandwich. Hell, you can't beat that. You know, this bike means a lot to me. This garage means a lot to me. It does. Let me spit this shit out real quick. You know, people need to take notes if they have to. My old lady left me because I didn't spend no time with her because I didn't know how to fucking act. And I didn't know why I was doing that bull. I took it for granted. Two and a half months went by. We talked twice. And those conversations were about who's getting what and whose lawyer they gotten. We interrupt this normal broadcast for a special news flash. Pretty cold in here because I just got here because I haven't been here for a week. And there's a reason. Whatever. My point being, sometimes in life you get a second chance. It's a rarity. And I got mine. And I ain't losing this shit again. Trust me. I haven't been out here for a week. You know why? My wife came back. She came back to town and I didn't even know. Her son called me because she didn't know where we stood. She didn't know if she had a place to come back. I didn't know if I wanted her back. At that point, I always loved her. And we're working shit out and it's better than it's ever been. My point being, boys and girls, if you're in a relationship and it ain't as good as it used to be, you need to fucking put shit in check real quick, like, and find out what is real important. This shit here is important, but it's not on the top of the motherfucking list for the shoe. I'm here to fucking tell you. And if you want to say I'm pussy whipped, I'm happy fucking for you, because it ain't got nothing to do with pussy. You know what it's got to do with? I love my wife. And my wife loves me. And I like being happy in a relationship. It ain't all worked out, but it's damn good. This is what Milo taught me a long time ago. And I never really understood the shit until the last two days. He always said, embrace the things you don't like. And I used to think, fuck that. I'm not giving in. Okay, don't give in. You can just fucking live alone if you fucking want to. Hello! And it's not about being lonely. It's about being with the woman or man that you love. It'll bring out the best in you, I'm here to tell you. i tell you what I mean about overlooking shit. It used to irritate me. My wife loves popcorn. Orden Redenbachner or whatever. Every morning I'd get up, there'd be little pieces of popcorn. Not a lot, maybe five, six pieces. Little pieces on the carpet and on the couch. And pissed me off. Made me think that, you know, she didn't respect anything. Well, that hasn't changed. I woke up and there was popcorn. And you know what I did? Not because I'm a good man. It's because I got a fucking clue. I picked up the popcorn and put it in the garbage and didn't say a motherfucking thing. You know why? When you pick a spouse, you got to take the bad with the good. 
you can't let the bad outweigh the good and that's not the case here we've been together 16 and a half years and shit got astray real quick we both had our own issues Like I said, we are gone. she was gone for two and a half months. There was no contact whatsoever. It was enough time to realize it was over. I didn't like it, but I had to accept it. And then, life throws you a curveball in a good way. And you got a choice to catch it and work on it, I let the motherfucker go by. I caught it, because I knew what I wanted. I knew I fucked up. I'm here to tell you, I ain't that fucking proud. I don't give a fuck. I know what I had. You got two different kind of women in this world. One that love their old men, and one that just trying to get shit from their old men. And when you have a wife that loves her old man, which I have, and she leaves, there's only a really a few reasons why a woman leaves a man that really loves her man. It's because he has an affair that didn't happen. He doesn't spend enough time with her. That happened. And he doesn't treat her like the queen that she is, like when he met her. And that happened. I didn't do that shit. I fucked up. I put the shoe shack over her. Ain't gonna fucking happen no more. Can I get a goddamn amen? I bought a fucking clue. I know what's important to me. I'll come on the garage. Haven't figured that all out all, all, all yet. I ain't living out in this motherfucker, I'll tell you that, because I went through Thanksgiving. I went through Christmas. I went through New Year's Eve. And it sucked not being with the one that you love. Fucking toys and money, they'll come and go. Don't worry about that bullshit. Don't worry about that bullshit, trust me. I worried a lot about how I look. Who gives a fuck? It's about how I feel. Am I happy? That's what it is for me. Y'all can give a thumbs up, thumbs down, thumbs in your ass. It don't fucking really care, tell you the fucking truth. Don't let anybody ever tell you anything. Everybody knows what's good for them. I had a good friend say, and that person knows who they are. They said, you know what to do, Tom, when the time comes. That person was right. That person knows who I'm talking to. And I want to say thank you. Because I got counsel from that person. She didn't have the answer. But she gave me enough to work on that everybody makes their own choices. On that note, I have X amount of hours to work on my bike. Because I choose to. I don't choose to live out in this motherfucker no more. Hell no. Hell no. This is a piece of my life, but it's not the top priority in my life. I don't know. I think I had to go through this because, you know, I had to wake the fuck up. And she had to work out some things her own, too. And it was just enough time to... Wow. It was right on the, the divorce. We already spent X amount of motherfucking money on lawyers. You know you can't get that shit back. We were like, here's the date of the divorce. Here we were. And um, miracles happen. It's the best way I can say it. If you believe in them, if you don't, don't really care. I'm not trying to be arrogant. But if you have a chance to save your marriage and you want to, you fucking better start today, man. Don't wait till the fucking tomorrow, because uh, tomorrow they could be fucking gone. And you'll realize what you had when they're gone. Trust me. Your world will never be the fucking same. Trust me. I got a second chance, and I'm fucking doing what I'm supposed to do. What we're doing is communication. 
We're a fucking tag team partner against the world. Bottom line. When two people get married, they become one. This is how you stay married happily. We, me and her both got selfish in our own ways. We felt we deserved better, we deserved more. They weren't treating us right. Blah the fucking blah the fucking blah. When you start treating your spouse the way you feel about her, and just say, for example, she doesn't treat you back right away, give it time, motherfucker, just give it time. Because you know what? It takes a while. Men are like microwaves, ding, they're ready to rock. Women, they're like a stew. It's something that's got to cook all day long. You know, um, it's the best way I can fucking explain it. Maybe somebody need to hear that. Maybe somebody did. They don't know. I got to go. It's time to work on the shop. I got limited time and limited hours because you know what? I look forward to going home tonight. Can I get a motherfucking amen? Shoot, preach this shit.